You're watching the World Surf League Championship Tour. Carissa Moore in the lineup now, taking on Nikki Van Dyke and Courtney Conlog. The world title race is on as we return here to the south side of Huntington Pier. Carissa Moore, former U.S. Open champ, but headlines this heat being a three-time world champ from the island of Oahu, taking on Nikki Van Dyke, who's had a strong relationship with an uh, event that's kind of related to this one, her home court. Joe Chappelle with Rosie Hodge for the call. Rosie, longtime competitor. We had a battle, two longtime rivals to kick off this heat. I love that, Joe. You can just tell how competitive this lineup is at the moment. Carissa Moore drawing first blood. Joe Chappelle with Rosie Hodge, longtime competitor on the top 17. And the benefit these days, Rosie, we've got a commissioner's office. Jesse Miley Dyer saw this bump in the swell. And we're getting things started here on Friday morning. Chris is still in transition through the inside. Whitewater helping her cause. Clean arc in the pocket, setting up a finish, and gets it on the inside corner. Wow, so Carissa looking sparky. Back-to-back -back waves for the three-time world champ. And now setting up the next opportunity, wearing the blue jersey from Phillip Island in Australia, Nikki Van Dyke, the local hero. We'll get this one, Courtney Conlog, essing her way back and forth, setting up this inside track. Looks like she wants her back end for a finish. Nope, changing her mind to her forehand. Off the bottom, an aggressive hack on the inside, putting everything into that finish. I love it, Joe. Look at that body language, just so staunch. Courtney Conlog, this is when she shines. She's at her home break in front of a home crowd, back from injury. And doing a great job to get this one started. Love seeing the battle with Carissa, her longtime rival, to kick off this seat. As we'll look at Courtney's form, doing that transition well through the flats. That's so true. Just generating her own speed. You can just tell that she's looking for a little bit of a pocket to work with. Finds this inside section, throws the fins out, stays low and compact, rides it out. You know what that does, that competitiveness that you can have with another surfer, that brings out the best in your surfing. So that challenge and having to rise to the occasion, Courtney's going to do her best here to overcome Carissa Moore. Looks like Courtney just getting some speed going. That's a great technique for a local, understanding the flats really well. She's jamming down the line, clean snap off the top. End section, providing a solid snap to finish. So two scores coming in for Conlog. Opener 5.83. Last of Carissa Moore 4.67. And we already got this heat battling. Nikki Van Dyke holding priority out the back, waiting for her first wave to come through. The next season you show up, you just want to get multiple event wins. What happened to Courtney out the back there? Yeah, you see that little adjustment there from Courtney. Her leash was actually stuck around her front foot, so made that quick adjustment and got going on this wave. You mentioned it, Joe, just that transition through these flat sections. Courtney Conlog, her board, that board right there, made an under 24 hours by a shaper, Tim Stamp. So he went back to the shaping bay, seeing the forecast, knowing that Courtney was going to have to generate that speed. So he got into the shaping bay and made that board for Courtney, and it's looking great. That's right, and just balancing that social calendar as well. That's the first thing you do when you qualify for there. You miss all your friends and family that are still back home in Surf City, USA. And I mean, you think about Cano, he's going to be flying to Tahiti probably early next week as he continues on the championship tour. This is a championship tour event for the top 17. Oh, I don't get to spend that much time home, so, you know, during this event, it's kind of when I get to hang out with my friends and, and uh, you know, just soak in my time at home even though I'm competing. So, yeah, I'm going to rest up and um, get some more energy just hanging out with friends and, and uh, relax a bit. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited for, for the rest of the event and I'm going to, you know, really uh, buckle in now since it's now. Th now this is when you got to start, um, you know, stepping it up because this is the, the back end of the event, and and uh, I think it's time for to you know like let loose a little bit and and uh, start start doing the serving that I want to do. Our world titles and major event wins. Nikki Van Dyke, beautiful climb on a set wave, flowing beautifully into the wrapping cut back. Nice clean style for the Australian heading for the pier. Whitewater's helping her build her speed down the line. Clean off the top. Tough finishing section, but she pulls it off with a quick back end float. So patience paying off for Nikki Van Dyke. First heat side at Huntington Beach. So Nikki, like we said, been waiting to open up her exchange. Goes for that 
whitewater climb, finds a bit of connection back with that power source where that whitewater is. That's where that power is going to be for this wave to push her through these flat sections. Here she has to start generating her own speed. Connects with that lift briefly, brings this one around, and then finishes that one off. So good start for Nikki. She's got some catching up to do. The other ladies have multiple waves in their score line. Waves going off speed, just like it does most of the time at this tide here at Huntington. And she'll get this bonus finish on her back end. Nice clean wind up on a 2.83. Conlog still in motion. Nice re-entry on the back end. Big wind up. Throwing some water and right into a back end flow. So capitalizing on multiple maneuvers in a really small space there. Yeah, Courtney is switched on right now. She's fired up. She's hungry. Even the paddle back out. There's no rest in between. Courtney's just on. She's going to be on for this whole 30-minute heat, and she's not going to let leave anything in the water. She wants to come to the beach and be absolutely exhausted. Going for that lip, and Courtney, she finds that tiny bit of lip and really makes an impression on it. Go right, fade left, find the reform on the inside. Courtney's backhand is so strong. And another thing about Courtney is that she's always trying to add more points. She's getting into that turn and already thinking about what she can do to finish. And all the time the battle comes through when they're shoulder to shoulder. Well, Chris has some room. So the priority will go to Courtney. With Chris just taking this wave. She'll redirect. Inside track looking fun. Nice clean snap right off the lip. That end section really opened up. Gave her some good size to work with as well. And more could be getting a keeper there. She's got to dig a little deeper. She actually found this wave on the paddle back out. So this is one of those mid-range waves that kind of sweep towards you. Now she's looking for that open face to look to start with. But a little bit of a box. The U.S. Open kind of feels like a place where we get to identify the next big thing. It definitely happened for Courtney Conlog when she was just about 16 years of age competing and dominating with a big win at the U.S. Open. This is... What happened during the break? Carissa trying to stay active here. Just get in the mindset of having better wave choice because right now, Nikki Van Dyke, she's about to lock in her second right, second right of this heat. And this seems like a better wave. So already getting the hit on the outside as well as the cutty and then working this one over to find an inside connection. And she's going to find a joke back and forth on that rail, slams it shut. So Nikki, good to see her. Good to see the fight in her too. And what a place to do it on your home court in Huntington Beach. Being one of the best local surfers out there on every single day. She's home watching Carissa Moore glide in. Wave just barely breaking, but giving her some energy towards the beach. All set up work for Moore. Getting into a money section on the inside. Great timing. Hammers it, but can't hang on. Oh, all that hard work to make that inside section. Just when it counted, the board just got sucked from under her. She's got all the experience out here. She's pretty much the threat in this heat with the three world titles and the way that she surfs. Just love that transition to the, there's no bouncing up and down. It's more of a rail to rail to generate that speed. So it hasn't really done anything of consequence just yet until she gets that inside section. So. It, it's so tricky too. That inside section, it just stands up. You pretty much go from no push to all the push in the world. And with eight seconds on the clock, uh, Courtney will survive that little priority error. Seven and a 5.83, and she is welcome back to the tour with a big heat win, and she'll be enjoying round three here on her home court of the Huntington Pier. Nikki Van Dyke, solid effort, just two waves, but they're solid. She'll be dangerous in that second round along with Chris.